Sophia says, hi, Josh. How do you know when you're ready to be reintroduced to a social environment, especially when you suffer from social anxiety? Great question. Well, you got to find out where your social anxiety stems from. Were you embarrassed in junior high school? Were you silenced in elementary school? Was you embarrassed or, or neglected or isolated in high school? Like, like social anxiety stems from a bad social moment. What was that bad social moment that is now creating social anxiety? Number two question, you gotta ask yourself, what will social anxiety keep you from? Because life is a people's life. You have to be around social settings for success. We're not talking about all social environments, but you have to be in some type of social environment for, for, for success. And so you gotta change the way you view that. How can you how can you uh, 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 neutralize a social anxiety and not suffer from it? And you find out the root reason, and you find out the things or the seasons. Think about think about the root reason of social anxiety, and think about the season your social anxiety will keep you from. Reason and season. So on a sheet of paper, on one side I want you to talk, write down the reason. On the other side of the sheet of paper, write down the season. And up under reason, I want you to find the root reason of your social anxiety. What happened when you, between zero to five, what happened from six to 12, what happened from 13 to 18, what happened from 19 to 20, whatever you are, that is contributing or the, that, that spark, that social anxiety. Up under season, what I want you to do is, I want you to write down what season of life will this uh, 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 issue keep you from? And then when you get down the sheet of paper, I want you to take that to God. God, uh, help me to forgive this person. God, I repent from this. God, shift, shift my perspective on this. Help me to use, help me to uh, transform, even though you may be, for me, for instance, I'm an introvert. People don't even know that. I am introverted. But, but my gifts make me extroverted. And so there were moments where I have some, I don't have social anxiety in certain environments, but I don't always feel you know, in certain environments because, because it's just whatever. And when I grew older, I began to realize, oh, uh, I'm not confident in these environments. Why am I not confident in these environments? How can I boost my confidence in these environments? For instance, if, if when I when I begin to start speaking at different churches, different places, I begin to have what you would consider what you're saying, social anxiety, because I had imposter syndrome. I thought, oh, I don't fit this environment because everybody in here has degrees but me. Everybody in here has this. I begin to generalize versus internalize what it is and maximize what's on the inside. So then my social anxiety began to begin to be defeated because I began to find that I am called to this. I am called to be in this environment. And when you begin to have that mindset, you begin to say, okay, God, begin to transform me into an individual by transforming my mind, renewing my mind to help me see that I am not an imposter, that I, that, that I am gifted and talented, that I am qualified by you. And then you will begin to find yourself more confident to step in these environments because you want God to be glorified, demons to be horrified, your family to be fortified. Hope they help.